Hey everyone, I'm Harry Collins, and for the next two weeks, I'm up here in Maine photographing and filming loons. So the loon pair that lives on this lake has uh, just hatched one chick. Uh, this year and that's about two days old at this point and uh, so I guess my goal over the next couple of weeks is to get as many photos as I can uh, the chick riding on the parents back uh, the parents feeding the chick uh, as well as I'd really like to get some videos of, of all those same situations as well as the loons calling so it's a little after 4 a.m. right now uh, sunrise in eastern Maine uh, this time of year is about 4 30 a.m. Um, so we got to be up pretty early to get out here to try to find loons before the sun rises. This week I'm out here with uh, my good friend Ray Yeager. Ray's been photographing this pair for, for many years now and he also volunteers with the Loon Project uh, that keeps track of all the loons on the island. Uh, one of the most important things I want to start this video with is, you know, if you're ever out here with, with loons or, you know, it's the same as any other animal, you don't want to push them, you know, you don't, if you see signs of their behavior that, you know, you're stressing them out, back off. Um, these guys, you know, they're, they're pretty used to Ray, especially he's out here every single day. Um, and one of the cool things is a lot of times there's eagles on this island um, in the morning almost every day. Uh, the loons will actually come right up to our kayaks with their chick. They kind of hang out by us, um, you know, my guess is, you know, protection. They know we're not a threat and uh, the eagles aren't gonna bother them whether they're, they're near us. So it's always a cool experience when they come in that close. But again, it's very important just to, you know, let the loons be, let them go about their business, you know, don't pressure them. All right, so let's talk about camera gear. Um, for this entire video, uh, I'm using a Canon R5 with a um, Canon 100 to 500 millimeter lens and the Rode uh, VideoMic Pro. My two favorite features about this camera um, are one, the tiltable screen, the way it um, rotates in 360 degrees in any direction. Um, that's key. I can lower the camera right up, uh, just above the edge of the, or the, I'm sorry, the surface of the water and get those super low angles. And uh, my second favorite feature, of course, is the eye focus, um, the way this thing can track just blows my mind even you know after a year of shooting with it now um, loons have very dark eyes and you know this thing I'd say probably 85% of the time is locked onto the eye which is pretty incredible Got some really nice scenes right here. The parents are both actively feeding the chick. It's given me a great opportunity for some close-up shots and videos. Got a really nice sunrise this morning. I'm gonna have to do a quick cell phone video of this one. There's our loon pair. Took me a little bit longer this morning to find them. Sometimes when they stay close along the, the edge of the lake here, 
a little tough to spot them. It's a pretty big lake, you know, they can be anywhere. Um, but they like to feed along the edges and then they tend to come out in the, the middle of the lake a little bit later. The winds a lot of times will come into this tall grass uh, around these lily pads to feed. Uh, it makes it a little tougher for, for photographs, but uh, can make for some good videos, more of a natural setting. And you can see Ray's sitting there nice and calm. Wounds are not bothered by him at all. Just a really cool experience. You have a bald eagle flying over right now. That's definitely going to get the attention of the loons. This morning has been really productive. I was able to get lots and lots of footage and photos of the chicks riding on the parents' back, um, which again I had mentioned was one of my top goals uh, for this trip. So, really excited about that. It's a good day. So we got quite a surprise this morning when we came out here. The sunrise was just, holy cow, speechless. We spent probably a good 15, 20 minutes just taking pictures of uh, each other, Ray and myself. <laughs> Couldn't help it, it was just too pretty. And just as the uh, mist was burning off and the sun was starting to get a little higher in the sky um, and ended up finding the loons. I was able to get a couple silhouette type shots. Um, it's tough here to get those real crazy dramatic lighting shots just because the sun has to be pretty high in the sky to clear the mountains and the tree lines before it starts to hit the lake. Well, pretty bummed that this morning is my last morning up here. It's going to be hard to leave. It's been a great couple of weeks. It's a little bit windier today. As you can see, the water is not quite as calm as it was. Managed to find the loons. They were actually out in the middle feeding. The more I kept trying to paddle away from them, the closer they kept coming. And, you know, so I just kind of gave up and just sat here. And as you can see, you know, by their behavior, they're feeding, they're diving, you know, they're don't have a care in the world that I'm sitting right here. Can't ask for a lot more than that. Just had a really nice feeding sequence here. One of the uh, parents brought in a crayfish. Uh, they're always bringing these crayfish in for these for the chicks when they're a little bit too small to eat them yet. Chicks don't really know what to do with it. Uh, but, you know, they can make for some 
good pictures because if the parents are constantly coming in over and over again trying to give it to so you get a couple opportunities at it. A little bit of a surprise here. Um, we had four visiting loons that had landed on the lake and the uh, two adults actually left their chick with me for a little while um, and swam right over to, to meet the visitors here, kind of see what their intentions are. Um, visiting loons are a big threat to the loon chick. They will try to kill it at times. Um, so the chick eventually kind of swam off, kind of tucked into the high ground. So I paddled over here to get some videos and see what's going on here. So luckily today there was no uh, casualties, no fighting really. Everybody kind of just circled each other for quite a while. Um, I'd say probably a good solid two hours. They just kind of swam around as a big group and eventually the, the four visitors took off and uh, adult went back to feeding their chicks and all was well. So, you know, normally you think, you know, you get a group of birds, it's exciting, but in this case, you know, it's really not a good thing. These chicks have it hard enough as it is. You know, they don't need their own kind killing them as well. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. I have a lot more content like this in the works coming. And uh, thanks again.